this is a, a difficult moment uh, for the Farmingdale High School community, for the Farmingdale School District, and really for the region, as uh, we are now told that at least five of these high school uh, band members had to be flown to area hospitals with critical injuries. Paisy, what can you tell me uh, about uh, where you are at the high school? Hi, so the Nassau police just um, showed up with a lot of vehicles. They're blocking off the entrances here, um, understandably so. We spoke to some students who came out of the high school. They said that um, they had just told them about this terrible bus accident about 30 minutes ago. Uh, there was a lot of concern in the school, a lot of people who were very upset, um, and that the school had canceled all after-school activities and sports as a result of this. From what I understand, according to the school district's uh, public relations company, they said that that bus was on its way uh, to Pennsylvania, where they were carrying kids for band camp. Um, and according to these students, it was uh, kids from all different grade levels that were going from freshman to senior year, and that there were a lot of kids that were going there. Uh, we think it was about 100 children. Um, at this point, we're still trying to gather information. Uh, school has already dismissed, so a lot of the people here have already left, uh, but we are going to try to gather as much information as we can. But that's the latest from Farmingdale. Back to you. And Paisy, uh, what, what, what we are trying to do to piece together this information, likely very much what the school district is trying to do. In the statement they released, they did say this was uh, one of the buses that was headed to Greeley, Pennsylvania for this band camp, uh, trying to reassure trying to reassure parents uh, that they're working as hard as they can to get information. Uh, we are now being told uh, that there is a confirmation of at least one person on board uh, this bus uh, who did not make it one fatality in this bus accident. Uh, uh, not clear um, who, who that is. Uh, obviously, uh, on a trip like this, you have bus, a bus driver, you have uh, potentially uh, chaperones on board buses, you have the students themselves, uh, but that is precisely the information um, that the Farmingdale High School community and really the entire region was hoping not to hear, uh, but you can see from the picture, this was a severe accident, a bus rolling down a fairly steep embankment along I-84 in Orange County in the town of Weiweyanda. And as you heard the county executive in Orange County say, uh, almost immediately there were 911 calls, likely from other motorists who were saying that this was a significant, severe accident, and almost immediately the county executive saying medical choppers were flown. Uh, we will, of course, continue to follow the details of this bus accident. Again, we have uh, one person who has passed away, a victim of this accident. We're now told that was an, ad an adult. Uh, and obviously uh, more information to come as first responders and investigators try to piece this together. Uh, again, just to recap, what we have here is an accident, a bus accident in uh, the town of Weiweyanda, Orange County. This was a bus carrying band members, high school band members from Farmingdale on Long Island. The bus rolling over sometime after 1.20 p.m. and a large first responder presence there. We can now confirm one adult has died in this accident, uh, five young people flown by medical chopper to area hospitals, and still so many questions. Uh, the Farmingdale community, uh, 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 you know, just uh, obviously um, heartbroken by this, but very hopeful uh, that the casualty count does not go up. Uh, for now, reporting live in the News 4 newsroom, I'm Chris Glorioso. We will continue to monitor this story.